Hello everyone! In this week's video, my Instagram followers are going to be helping me design an original character. So on Instagram, you can do Instagram polls and you can let your followers vote for which option they want. So I used this to help design an original character. I've seen other YouTubers do this. The first YouTuber I saw do it was Drawing with Waffles. Also, I'll be designing my character digitally on the computer. I was thinking about doing it traditionally in my sketchbook, but I thought I would end up going through a lot of paper and I overall just thought it'd be easier to do on the computer, so I decided to do it on the computer. Anyways, let's start designing a character. So the first question for the poll was should the character be a male or a female? Female won by a lot, so the character is going to be a girl. I don't have very many uh, girl original characters. I guess it's about 50-50. I feel like I have a few more boys than I do girls. So it'll be fun having another girl OC. So I start off by just drawing a simple base. Uh, the character is also under 18 and they have to be edgy. <laughs> I kind of thought edgy would win because it often seems like in these edgy wins over like cute and preppy. And so to make her look kind of edgy, I give her pointy eyes. Because that's kind of the only way I know how to make characters look kind of edgy is to give them pointy eyes. And she also has to not be human. So I wanted to give her some kind of characteristics. At first I was thinking maybe I'd make her like a wolf character. But I didn't want to just like slap some ears and a tail on the character and just say, Oh, now it's not a human. I just thought that felt a little simple. And so I was trying to play around with different ideas like... Oh, maybe I should make her a snake character and I was like I could give her little fangs and give her like snake eyes um, for her irises uh, but there wasn't like a ton of snake like features I could give her I was thinking about giving her scales uh, the next thing I was considering was maybe like a cyborg. My brother came up with this idea and I was trying to think of ways that I could include uh, like a cyborg detail on her face like one eye is like robotic and one eye is like human I did kind of like this idea but one thing that kind of kept throwing things off is that she needs to have long curly hair and so for the snake thing I felt like if I wanted her to be like a snake I'd give her maybe short sleek hair um, or maybe tied back hair that's kind of sleek and straight uh, and for the robot, I could give her curly hair, but I wasn't sure how to include her hair with the metal features on her face. Um, here I'm kind of just trying to decide how I want the hair to be. And uh, I was thinking about maybe having some of it shaved on the side because I thought that'd make her look kind of edgy. And at this point, I started getting kind of discouraged a little bit because I wasn't really liking anything. And I was sitting and thinking for a really long time while recording, I kind of cut all of that out. There's like super long pauses where I'm just sitting and thinking of what I want to try to do. And I was having kind of a hard time and I was just like, maybe I'm thinking about it too much. Like I'm putting too much pressure and just not letting myself let ideas flow. And so I decided to just start kind of sketching without really thinking. I drew kind of a simple female body in front view. And then I was kind of like, oh, well, what if I give her long ears? I was like, maybe she's an elf or something. And then maybe I'll give her some horns. I don't know. I just kind of felt like adding horns for some reason because I thought it looked kind of cool. And then I added the curly hair and I was like, you know, she looks a little like a sheep. <laughs> And then when I thought of an edgy sheep character, I for some reason just kind of loved it because sheep are not known for being super edgy or cool or anything. So the fact that she is a sheep character but she's trying to be super edgy and kind of cool, I thought that was kind of interesting and I really kind of liked the idea. And so I decided to kind of roll with that idea. Another feature I did give her is that her um, pupils are sideways ovals. Uh, Cause like if you look at sheep eyes, uh, their irises are kind of oval shaped. I still kept her irises long vertically just because I felt like that'd be easier for me. But then I decided to make her pupil a sideways oval. Uh, the next thing I was doing was trying to decide how I wanted her lower body to be. I was thinking about giving her like hooves 
and kind of like sheep legs at the bottom. I didn't really like that idea, so I scrapped that idea. I just have her be normal human legs on the bottom. And now I'm trying to decide what I want her outfit to be. So for her outfit, it was either going to be casual or fancy. And I was really surprised that fancy won because a lot of times I feel like casual wins over like more fancy or dressed up. Uh, so at first I was thinking, well, maybe I could have her wear a dress. I was kind of struggling with this because I was like, how do you be both dressed up and edgy at the same time? So I was thinking maybe like a short edgy dress with some boots, but that didn't quite fit her character because uh, my idea for her is that she is a sheep and she's kind of stereotyped as she should be cute and sheepish and kind of a scaredy cat and she should be like all cute and stuff but she doesn't like being stereotyped like that so she tries to be really edgy and not cute and so I decided to have her not wear a dress because dresses are often considered kind of cute and so I went with a leather jacket that's like cropped and then some high-waisted jeans for some reason I'm kind of obsessed with high-waisted jeans lately <laughs> I don't know why I just really like them I only have one pair that I wear uh, but I like drawing characters wearing them and then under the jacket she's wearing a turtleneck and then for her shoes I'm gonna have her wear kind of a chunky boot uh, so that was my rough concept for her outfit and now I'm just kind of cleaning up my rough sketch of her and trying to add a little bit more detail so that way I have a better idea of what I want to do when I go to draw the final illustration of her uh, I also draw her wearing her new outfit. One thing I did notice is I started to look at uh, sheep's horns uh, from like different breeds and stuff. And I often notice that the horns go like outwards, like the point of the horns go outwards instead of inwards. I drew hers kind of going inwards and kind of back. I did try drawing them going outwards, but I just didn't really like it very much. I don't know, it kind of lost that horn look to it and I really liked her horns kind of going more up and back instead of sideways. Uh, so I decided to keep her horns the way that I drew them initially. I don't know, maybe she's born with like a horn defect and they don't grow the right way. <laughs> I also decided my colors when I was doing this, uh, but I'll show you the colors a little bit later once I start coloring the actual illustration. So now that I have an idea of what I want her design to be, I start working on the actual illustration of her. I'm sorry I didn't show myself sketching this out, like my rough sketch and my cleanup sketch, uh, but I don't want this video to be super duper long, so I'm skipping to the line art phase. Uh, that way this video doesn't get super long. Uh, so like I mentioned, I am doing the line art and I have her making kind of a, kind of an attitude-y kind of face. She looks kind of sassy and angry. I also have her kind of sticking her hip out and she has her hand on her hip. I was trying to make her pose kind of show her personality a little bit. I tried to add a lot of details into her outfit. So I tried to add like buttons on the leather jacket and some different seam details. Uh, another thing that also won in the poll was adding jewelry and so I have her wearing this kind of long necklace that has like a spiky diamond at the end of it and I also have her ears pierced um, at the kind of like the tips. She has this black loop in her ear. Her pose was a little tricky. I never really like drawing hands on hips. Uh, so I kind of have her hand kind of going into her pocket, but only the thumb is going into the pocket. Uh, the pose was a little bit tricky, and there are a few things I don't quite like about it looking back at it now. I kind of had to rush this illustration. I pretty much had to do it all in one sitting because I didn't have much time to work on it if I wanted to keep on schedule and have this video get done in time and uh, I usually like to do my pictures in multiple sittings uh, but yeah so looking back I kind of see little things that I don't quite like or maybe want to tweak uh, but I don't know if I'm going to take the time to tweak them. <laughs> One thing that was really, really fun to work on was her hair. I never really draw super curly hair for like final illustrations. I often kind of do it in my sketchbook 
And what I do is I just draw really squiggly lines kind of going back and forth and I just try to add little hairs that kind of curl up a little bit. I don't draw each individual curl just because I don't really know how to do it and make it look right. And so I just draw a bunch of squiggly lines just to give the idea that she has kind of curly hair. Uh, one part that was really fun was adding the shoelaces on her boots. I'm pretty pleased with how her boots turned out. I always have a hard time drawing shoes. I feel like her boots turned out kind of cool looking. I also added a little chain on the side of her jeans, kind of coming off of the belt. So now I'm going in and adding the base colors. And so for the coloring, she has to have an unnatural hair color. It is kind of a red, and red is a natural hair color. But her color is more of a burgundy, and I don't really know if people could naturally have this kind of burgundy hair color. And then for her eyes, they also have to be an unnatural color. And so I have them be this kind of teal aquamarine kind of color. I try to make it not blue and I try to make it not green. So it's kind of a fantasy color. They're these super light teal colors. I love the combination of burgundy and teal. And so I decided to make her turtleneck a teal for a pop of color. I didn't want just everything she wears to be dark and black. I wanted it to be a little fun so I gave her the teal turtleneck. And now I'm going in and just adding some cell shading to the picture. Just trying to get an idea of where I want the shading to kind of be. And I start adding some soft shading to her skin. I wasn't trying to be super fancy with the shading because I was just kind of trying to make uh, kind of just an illustration of her. Just get an idea of what she looks like. So I didn't go super fancy with the shading. Uh, when th I did kind of have a hard time shading the black. For some reason, I always have a hard time shading blacks, and I'm not sure why. I think it's because I want to add shadows, but the thing I should be doing is adding highlights because the black is already so dark, you can only shade it so much. So I need to add more highlights. I also made her jeans like really tight, like they're kind of like a jegging or like a super tight jean. Uh, because I wanted her to be able to tuck them into her boots. So I just added little itty bitty wrinkles um, kind of all over the jeans. I also added a slight texture to them to give them a little bit of a jean look. Uh, for her boots, I made them look super duper shiny. So I had a lot of fun shading the boots. Oh, I also added a slight background behind her. I, it's red here, but I end up making it teal later. I felt like the red was blending with her hair too much, and so I make it teal a little bit later. Uh, I just made kind of a block of color behind her and then added one of the textures from Clip Studio onto it, and that just kind of made a simple background. So now I'm starting to work on the hair, and this part was a little bit tricky because I never really have colored curly hair before, and so I wasn't totally sure what I was doing. I was just kind of going in with some dark colors and kind of adding some squiggles and trying to define the shape a little bit more. Uh, but then I decided to go in with some highlights and I just add tiny little batches of highlights that kind of curve. And I was just kind of trying to feel out where the curls would be kind of bumping out a little bit. Uh, I don't really know how to explain it. I was just kind of following my instincts, I guess, as to where I think the highlights would be. And I also added a big thing of highlight kind of going across her hair. And then I added a little bit of shadows um, in areas under the highlights to make it kind of look like the hair was going in and out, in and out, in and out, and kind of making a bunch of little bumps. I hope it kind of looks like it's curly. Like I mentioned, I don't, I'm not totally sure what I was doing. <laughs> but I feel like I achieved the look I was going for. And now I'm working on the eyes. I feel like her eyes look kind of cool because they're kind of different and unique. But from afar, you can't really tell that her pupils aren't going the right way. They're going uh, horizontally. And so it's kind of a cool detail and I kind of like it. And then lastly, I'm just adding a little bit of shading to the horns and the necklace and on the belt. So here's the finished picture of this character. The last poll I did was should she have a unique name or a common name and a unique name one. And so I decided to name her Raylan Woolens. The name Raylan can mean lamb. And so I thought it was fitting for her. And her last name Woolens is kind of a pun because of sheep wool. <laughs> 
But I had so much fun designing Raylan and I feel like I ended up with a really different unique OC than what I usually design. I usually design kind of cute or innocent kind of characters. I never really design edgy characters very much. Uh, so I think Raylan is like my edgiest OC ever. <laughs> But I had so much fun working on her and it was really really fun doing something kind of different And I definitely want to do this again sometime because it was really fun including you guys in on the design process Also, I plan to include this illustration as a print over on my patreon page each month I send a little letter of goodies to my $15 tier patrons And so I plan to include this as one of the prints. Oh, and I'm also making a little sticker of her My patrons will also be getting that Speaking of Patreon, thank you so much to my patrons including Andrew, Pisatera, Master Zero, Sarahi, Hakoko, Tamalam, Gozar89, Rachel, Ravi, Nefram Academy of Games, Suzeel, Robert, Anne, Eduardo, AJ, Nikki, Michael, Narichan, Dan, Panda Bear, Hollow Studio, Daniel, Aaron, and Patrick. Thank you so much for being a patron and for your support. Well that is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all next week in my next video. Bye!